Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Dev Repair video. In today's episode, we're gonna be working on this HP. Uh, this is a 15.6 inch pavilion. Uh, the model is going to be 15M-DR1011DX. Uh, this is the X360 variant, uh, but most HPs are going to follow the same process. Uh, they're just different fans are really uh, what differentiates the models, but most of this will be the same between all of them. Uh, this unit, of course, was sent in to us for fan replacement, so let's go ahead and get into this repair. All right, so we're gonna start by flipping the unit over. Uh, and this one, the rubber feet, which you normally have to peel off here, are already missing. Uh, but normally to peel those off, I recommend just a plastic flat end spudger to get under there. Uh, it does a good job of keeping the adhesive on either the pad or the laptop and not you know, breaking or bending that rubber strip. Uh, but now we're just gonna remove the screws. So there's one T5 at the very front here. And now we're gonna grab a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the Phillips heads two at the front and we're gonna have five at the back. All right, and now we can lift off this back case. And set it aside. Uh, the very first thing we're gonna do is unplug the battery. To do so, we have to remove the Phillips head screws all around it that secure it to the logic board. Now we can lift off the battery, which will disconnect it, and we're ready to work on the unit. All right, so now that the unit's safe to work on, just a quick thing to go over. There's two different configurations, as you can probably assume by our two fans here and only one in this unit. Uh, this little section here is for the dedicated graphics card. Uh, you'd have the memory module soldered here, and of course the actual GPU die itself here. You'd have another fan connector after this fan here, which would be oriented this way, also soldered on the board right there. Uh, since this is the lower end model, uh, this unit only requires one fan. Uh, but in the event where you have the higher end model with both heat pipes and an additional fan here, uh, this wouldn't look like a block off plate like it would here. Of course, it'd just be the same process we're about to do over here, but you just remove the fan, screw it back in and plug it in. Uh, but we're gonna do that process on the right hand side here. I'm just gonna start with the three screws that secure it in. And now we're gonna go ahead and unplug it. And we can go ahead and pull it upwards. Oops, not quite unplugged. There we go. So that's our old fan removed. Uh, there isn't too, too much to clean under here, but we're still going to. And now we're gonna take our replacement OEM fan and first plug it in. And now we're going to go ahead and screw it in. And if you guys are looking for uh, either of these fans, uh, we do have OEM and aftermarket replacement fans on our website. Uh, if you're looking for the bottom feet, uh, which do tend to crack, break, people lose them in this case, as you can see, uh, we do also offer those on our website. You can check it out at techdep.com or the links below in the description. If you guys are interested in a mail-in repair, similar to the one you see today, or any data recovery service, also check us out at techdep.com. We do it all every day. All right, just a little wiggle there to make sure the fan's fully secure. And I'm gonna double check we're plugged in. Perfect. And again, if you have the upgraded unit, you'd repeat the same process for that fan on that side. So now we're gonna go ahead and lay the battery back in and secure it to the logic board. Alright, 
again, give it a little wiggle, make sure it's fully secure. And now we're gonna take our bottom case and place it back down. Click it in. And I'm gonna start with the T5 at the front and the five screws at the rear. And finishing up with the two Phillips heads on the front sides. And now all that's left to do is turn the unit over, grab our charger, plug it in. Let's just confirm the battery charges, which I do see an orange light on the side. Let's go ahead and make sure it turns on. I've got a power light on. Let's just make sure the display comes on and we don't hear any fan noises. All right, gave us a little CMOS clear message there because we did remove the battery. And now we are booting into Windows. It's very dim. Let me see if I can get the brightness up. There we are. That's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at techdep.com or click the link below for mail in repairs. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And with the help of the community, we be, we'll be sure to assist you. Uh, that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.